Hi everyone, this is Liz and I'm renovating my 18th century timber frame cottage. Welcome to this highly requested and long-awaited update on everything that has happened since I last showed you around. Let's start at the beginning, at the warm and cozy beginning of this story. Let me give you an overview. My 18th century cottage now has electricity. It had electricity before, but we redid the whole electricity in the house and we now have light in here. Which is absolutely crucial at the moment, because it's the dark season. We did some tests for getting the paint off the railing, but the result wasn't very satisfying, so the railing might have to be white instead of natural wood. But that will be a project for the end of this renovation. Last time you saw the main bathroom, it looked like this. And this has happened. We have prepared the drywall, fixed or replaced the broken timber beams and made the floor even. We'll return to the bathroom again later today. I cleaned up the last bit of the floor upstairs in the living room. And we noticed that all the plaster is coming off the wall, so we will have to redo all the plaster in this room. Last time you saw the top floor, there were two doors. But magic! I now have a fuse box here and a wall. There will be a staircase up into the roof where the door used to be. So this is the current status. Today, we're gonna start in the kitchen. Our plan for today is to connect the kitchen and the dining room with a door and to remove the old wood-burning stove. So, let's go! Thank you. 
So after the tough decision about the width of the sliding door, we had to place the door lintel. Alright, I guess I have a door, kind of. The next task will be to pick the actual door. What do you think? Would you go for a wooden door or a glass door here? Let me know in the comments. Next, we closed up the hole in the wall where the old wood burning stove has been. But fear not, there will be a wood burning stove. As if I would ever move into a house without a wood burning stove. Alright, now are you ready to see the current status of the main bathroom? The floor heating has been installed. I also got the bathtub, the shower and the toilet. They are ready and waiting to be installed. We just need to screed the floor. In order for the screen to dry, we need to turn on the heating in the house. And it's also about time, because it's winter. So let's do it! Mm -hmm. 
Yep, the heating system in the house is dead. Apparently it's only a small component that has stopped working while the heating was not in use. But because the heating system in this house is old, the component is not manufactured anymore. We are currently trying everything to replace it. But if we can't replace it, I might have to replace the heating system, which is something I really try to avoid at this point in time. Currently, there is no way we can pour the screed until the heating is fixed, so the bathroom renovation is officially on hold until we can properly heat the bathroom. But that is not the only issue. December has been pretty mild, but this week we got temperatures of between negative 3 and negative 9 Celsius at night, that's 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is a problem. Temperatures below zero are not optimal for the house itself, and it's a real problem if the pipes start freezing. So my current quest is to keep an entire house above zero degrees at all times without a functioning heating system. My friend Chris got this gas cannon thingy, which is really our only option at the moment. Every night I run this in the house for about an hour and then return the next day to do the same thing again, until the heating system is fixed or temperatures rise above zero again, which could be at any point between next week and April. Unfortunately, we couldn't have used the old wood-burning stove either, as it was not safe to use anymore and was therefore disconnected. So, leaving you with a bit of a cliffhanger today. Hopefully next time we meet at the cottage, we will have found a solution to the problem. If you have any advice or input on heating up this house, please let me know in the comments. I appreciate each and every idea. Mm -hmm.